hello. So I took this time lapse up in San Francisco, um, but in the original sequence, there were a handful of birds moving in and out of the frames, causing a flickering effect. So today I thought I'd walk through a tutorial on how to remove birds quickly um, in your time lapse. So here you can see in Lightroom, we have some birds up here, and then in the next frame, it moves over there. So basically, we could do this the manual way of using the clone tool to remove it in Lightroom or in using Photoshop. But today I thought I'd show a tutorial on how to do it quickly with Adobe After Effects. So I already exported a folder of all the edit photos from Lightroom, and then we're going to jump into After Effects. So here in After Effects, in order to start working on our sequence, we need to import our footage. So we go to File, Import, File, select the first photo in our time lapse sequence and click Import. Um, and we want to right click on this and interpret footage main and change our frame rate to 24 frames per second. So now we have our footage import, we need to create a composition. So we right click, new comp from selection, and we play it back see that we have our time lapse in After Effects. Um, you'll notice it's a little bit uh, shaky because it's a windy day in San Francisco. So we would want to stabilize this before we start removing the birds. So let's pause this um, and go to effects. We're going to type in warp, warp stabilizer and drag it onto our timeline. I'm going to change the result to no motion. All right, so now the warp stabilizer is complete. Uh, now we have a nice stable time lapse to work with before we can start removing the birds now. So let's play this back. You see, we can see some birds moving in and out of the frame. And that's what we want to remove because they create a flickering or jarring effect and makes our time lapse not as smooth as it could be. So we're going to create a new composition from this composition. So we go to our project panel, right click on this composition, new comp from selection, and then we're going to type in echo into the effects. So it's under the time folder, echo. And you can see not much has changed, but we want to change the echo operator to maximum. And the reason why we want maximum is because the birds are basically black color as their silhouette against the sky, a uh, brighter sky. So when uh, After Effects blends the different frames together, it'll take the maximum pixel value or the maximum brightness value. And that will always be the sky and not the bird. Um, another important um, parameter to note is the number of echoes. Number of echoes is the number of frames it blends together after the current frame. So for example, if we have one number of echoes, we're blending the current frame with one frame afterwards. So we're blending two frames together and taking the maximum pixel value. So if we play this back, we should have no birds. That's amazing. All right, so let's show, let's find a spot where there was a bird and show you just toggle the effect on and off. So we can hit the FX button Find script to find a bird. So there's a big bird in the top left corner up here. There's a bird. We could toggle the effect on, and you can see that we've removed the bird. So, yeah, that's all there is to this tutorial. Um, hope you enjoyed this short tutorial, um, and hopefully, you could try it on your own time lapse sequences. Uh, to help you remove birds from your sequence. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And that's all I have. Okay, bye.